So welcome to a new episode. In this episode, we're going to talk about Psalm 23. Very famous psalm. Everybody seems to know about this. And this talks about Jesus being our shepherd, which I thought that's a little strange. Isn't shepherd about sheep? I thought sheep were just dumb animals who did what you told them to do. So, but also a shepherd really cares about its sheep. You know, if one sheep is lost, it'll go and find the lost sheep. So we look at this today. Why is Psalm 23 so popular? Let's learn together. Psalm 23. Psalm 23, 1. Yahweh is my shepherd. I shall lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and loving kindness shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in Yahweh's house forever. May God add blessing on the reading of his word. So here's some things that struck me about Psalm 23, because I thought this whole psalm was about God being our shepherd. And it does start off that way. Yahweh is my shepherd. And it says he makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. So these are things about a shepherd taking care of his sheep. So it starts off with this imagery. But I never noticed this before. Then it says, he restores my soul. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for his namesake. Well, wait a minute. Sheep don't have souls. Sheep don't have paths of righteousness. They don't do things right or wrong. So this isn't about sheep anymore. This is about people. And then even if you're facing death, you will fear no evil, for you are with me. Sheep don't fear death, but we do. So he's with us right up until death. And it says on to say that he helps you in the presence of your enemies. And then surely goodness and loving kindness will follow me all the days of my life. So goodness, loving kindness. We love, God loves us. We do good things, God does good for us. And in the end, we'll dwell in Yahweh's house forever. What a message of hope in this. Let's keep learning together. And now for our new modern expression. This is the expression, feet of clay. And this is a serious character flaw that is often hidden. So usually this is cowardice. And this comes from Daniel chapter 2, 31 to 33. You, O king, saw, and behold, a great image. This image was mighty, and whose brightness was excellent stood before you, and its appearance was terrifying. As for this image, its head was of fine gold, its breasts and its arms of silver, its belly and its thighs of bronze, its legs of iron, its feet part of iron and part of clay. Feet of clay. Thank you.